How is everyone doing? <coughs> Obviously, it's been Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I don't really think you'd be watching this video anyways. Happy holidays, you know what I'm saying? But doing okay. So, I have a lot to talk about. Um, basically, this is my 12th day of 12 days of Kensmas. I'm sorry, I really can't breathe. <laughs> you guys, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. You guys know that I've been sick for the past week um so this video would have been up way sooner <coughs> I haven't felt up to it um I don't feel entirely a hundred percent good right now um but I just took a shower for the first time in a long time and I kind of feel okay so I was like, I need to get this video out so I can finish the series. If you've been here for every video, I really appreciate it. Um, maybe if it was just your first video of me, um, thanks for being here. Uh, I hope to do the Kenzmas series again next year. I don't know how it'll go. Um, it takes a lot on your mental. And recently, um, because I've been so all engulfed, in YouTube and I think a lot of you guys viewers are as well um, with vlogmas and just being on the app so much um, it's kind of been a little toxic I'm not gonna lie um, I love YouTube but at the same time like my mind has been just going 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 about views and about subscribers and about comments and about engagement and about numbers and just I need to take a second, take a step back, and not do that. Especially going into 2020, I feel like I can't have that mindset. Like, I'm saying, not that I've had that mindset forever. Um, it's just been recently. So like, sometimes I get into these little, like, I don't even know what I want to call it. And I feel like a lot of YouTubers sometimes get into this as well. I mean, being on this platform, um, Obviously, you naturally compare yourself to people. You naturally compare your views and your likes and your subscribers, and it just gets all encompassing. It just gets to be a lot. And I'm not saying that every YouTuber does this. Obviously, not every YouTuber does this, and I don't care about the views. But at the same time, when you are on YouTube, sometimes you do. And recently, I feel like I have, especially with the series. Because, you know, I took so long making it and putting in my work and effort and hours and time into each video that, like, I, I've been really, like, a stickler. Like, oh my gosh, if this video doesn't get 10,000 views, if this video doesn't get 20,000 views, like, was it not good? Was it not funny? Was it not this? Was it not that? And I'm just, I just need to take a step back. And... I know that's not what y'all clicked this video for. Y'all, this is a what I got for Christmas. I'm sorry. Um, but I just need to update y'all with how I'm going at the moment. Because, you know, my past couple of videos haven't been doing the greatest, like, number-wise. And obviously, um, you can say to yourself if you're a YouTuber that numbers don't do this, numbers don't do that. But, in, um, I mean, it does. I mean... How much you get recommended the number of comments it doesn't matter for you know how well your videos are gonna do but you know I just need to sit down and be like girl it's fine you're gonna do great you're doing fine you need to calm down. especially because I've been I've been at a certain amount of subscribers for a while and it was so bad like a couple of months ago I got to a point where I was like I was looking every single day and like for my number count and it was so bad. 
I know and you probably are like oh my god this bitch crazy but so many youtubers have done this before or are doing it right now where like literally they sometimes amount their worth to that number um not their worth personally but like their worth as a creator they very much tie it together when it is not true because there are so many things that come into how many views you get on a video or how many subscribers you have the way youtube the algorithm it's a lot and um sometimes you're not going to get recommended sometimes youtube doesn't notify the people who turn on notifications you know what i'm saying so you can't put the blame on yourself and i feel like i do that a lot and i do feel like a lot of youtubers do at that point um sometimes you know it's not all the time you know some people it is all the time but you know we just need to take a second and just because you don't do this you don't do that like you can't put specific things to what videos become more popular, what videos do better, you know? I don't know, I had to get that off my chest. Um, I don't know, I've, been, I've just been feeling kind of crappy lately because especially when you put so much work into, you know, what you think you're doing very well, but YouTube doesn't, you know, keep that same energy. It's kind of hard, you know, when you're not getting notified, you're not getting recommended. And sometimes it's just the way it is. Like, if your content isn't, you know, I don't know. It's not because of your content, but you know what I'm saying? If it's not what they want to recommend, it's not what they want to recommend. And, you know, it's not my fault. That's just how the cookie crumbles. And I'm doing perfectly fine on my channel right now. But, you know... I don't know, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I'm so thankful for everything that this year has brought me for every single person that has subscribed to this channel. Yes, Eva? Hi. Lucian Fulman. Thankful for every single person that has liked, subscribed, commented, followed my Instagram, sent me a DM. Sorry I haven't got to them. I've been trying to reply back to my DMs, but I suck at that. So, um... That's what I hope to do in 2020, um, be more, um, like closer with my viewers and respond back to DMs and do all that kind of stuff better next year. I'm so happy what 2019 brought me and I'm so excited to what 2020 will bring me and, um, you know, the lives that I'm going to touch and, you know, I just hope everyone has an amazing 2020. I'm just so excited. Um, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I'm sorry. I'm kind of talking about the new year but um i had a really amazing christmas it's really hard because i was sick um it's really hard to enjoy you know life when you're literally dying i mean i wasn't dying but you know what i'm saying i'm sorry oh i don't have earrings in i don't care yeah i've literally had a fever every single day until today so that's why i finally got to film this video my voice sounds a little weird but um you know i spent time with my family it was just amazing you know if you got to spend time with the people you love um or the people that you know family's annoying sometimes but you know it's great and if you got to travel and you got to see you know extended family um don't take it for granted because there are so many people who don't have that opportunity and yeah like i have so many friends that you know every holiday literally Every single holiday they go out, they fly out to their their home state and they get to see their aunts, their uncles, their cousins, their everything, every holiday. And sometimes they get annoyed and they're like, oh, I don't want to do this no more. Literally, be so grateful because there's some people, like, I haven't seen my extended family, my aunts, my grandparents, I haven't seen them in 10 years. I haven't seen them more than 10 years like 10 13 years i haven't seen them in forever and yeah and i think especially you know the christmas season it's so hustle bustle so much stuff going on um even on youtube so much stuff going on like vlogmas what i got for christmas videos everything's so much going on we all just need to take a step back and really appreciate what we have um you know especially with videos like this um, I feel like a lot of people who do watch videos like this 
sometimes are younger. Um, whenever I was younger, I was always looking up these kinds of videos. There are young people watching like, obviously I'm younger, I'm 17, but like actually like preteen, like really young, are watching like opening presents on Christmas day videos and all that kinds of stuff. And in, in this season it tends to be very, um, you know, material, material item focused, very, very envious, very envious season. And we end up wanting things and wanting things and we never appreciate what we actually have. I'm sorry, I'm really ranting right now, but I just, you know, I don't know. I feel like it needs to be said because there's just so much going on right now, um, especially going into New Year's. I was thinking about vlogging Christmas, but, you know, I didn't want to do that. Vlogging Christmas is just a whole lot, and I'm not... You see family channels, and you see them vlog Christmas, and, you know, it's, it's kind of sad. Um, I follow one couple's channel um gold juice and i follow like um thing is like i don't watch their content a lot what's their other name um diara oh shoot my contact oh diara and ken those are the only two couple channels i watch i don't watch family channels family channels are so toxic um i mean if it comes to a point where i have a family um i know there is a field and an income and all that to be there's a whole revenue for family vlogging, family content, and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think I'd ever do it, and if I do, I probably wouldn't want to watch me anymore. <laughs> just want to let y'all know. But family, <coughs> I just think forcing a camera down children's throats is not good. I think there are some YouTubing, like, cup family couples that don't do that. Like, their content is a lot more genuine. But that's the thing, like, they're not big enough to be known. Like, I don't even know who they are. So, if y'all have any good family channels, let me know. But I'm just not interested. But, I'm sorry. I went on this whole tangent. I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, people, like I was saying, like, family vlogs, like, they do, like, these opening Christmas presents videos. And some of them are so, so, like, planned, so fake. And you can see it in their children's eyes. You can see it in the parents' eyes. And it's just so... Especially because I have a little sister. So I know, like, what kind of, like, YouTube videos she intakes. Like, what kinds of content she watches. And it's toxic. Like, I can't... Some of those videos are so bad. Um, like, they're not bad videos, but they're just not good for society. <laughs> Uh, I didn't vlog Christmas, but you know, I went to Christmas Eve service, I had Christmas Day, we had an amazing dinner, and it was just, it was so great. Um, and yeah, a lot of people on social media too, they're like, I'm not feeling, it doesn't feel like Christmas this year, it doesn't feel like this, it doesn't feel like that. Um, whenever I went to church, my pastor said this really amazing thing, I don't know exactly what he said, but he was like, um, Christmas isn't about what you're feeling, you know what I'm saying? Not, that came off really harsh, but, um, Christmas isn't about what you're feeling, but Christmas is about what you believe, and if you believe in Jesus, and if you believe in God, you will, f you'll believe, feel Christmas spirit in your heart, and I think that was the most true thing I've ever heard. I can't even remember exactly how he said it, but he said something like that. And I was like, no matter what you're going through, you know, if you don't think you got a lot of presents, you got no presents, you know, um, if you didn't get to hang out with your family, if you didn't get to hang out with your friends, um, no matter what kind of living situation, anything, just that if you have God in your heart that you will be, you know, rejuvenated, you'll have an amazing Christmas. You know, everything will be, like, everything will be okay. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to spread that light and that positivity. Um, because Christmas is so hard. Um, and I'm so happy it's over. Christmas is so hectic. Buying presents, doing na 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 Finals, na 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 And I finally got to calm down and breathe. And obviously I've been sick. Um, I just believe that I'm sick. Um, whenever I don't feel stressed because 
I got out of school, I was feeling fine, and I got a day to rest and, you know, watch a good TV show, just breathe, and then I get a fever, and I'm like, so I guess that's how it is, but, you know, I had an amazing Christmas, I'm sorry, I literally have been talking for 18 minutes, and I've said, done none of my what I got for Christmas video, but, um, what I got actually for Christmas isn't going to take up that much because I didn't get too much this year, so. Especially with Christmas lists, I feel like it can get so toxic, especially, I mean, I feel like if you're a parent, I can't believe, I can't, I don't know if I was in my mom's shoes, I don't know how I'd be, like that's, buying all that stuff and, you know, especially the th with Santa and all that kinds of stuff with children. And then whenever they don't believe it anymore, it's like, I don't know. But I didn't ask my mom anything for Christmas. I haven't asked my mom for anything um, in like three years. Um, I feel weird being almost an adult and writing a Christmas list for my parents. Um, I told my mom I wanted black socks and she didn't give me black socks. Like that was the one thing I asked her. <laughs> I was like, can I get some black like Nike socks? And she didn't get me black socks. But I love you, Mom. And I love you, Dad. I appreciate everything you got me. But, you know, I just feel weird. And I feel it's kind of weird watching some people who get presents and they talk about stuff. They're like... Just telling parents what they want. I feel like it came with me growing up. Like, you know, actually understanding finances and seeing my parents struggle like I'm not gonna be asking my mom for an Apple watch and all this and new shoes and new clothes that's just I'm I'm not gonna do that you know I normally ask my parents for like one thing and that's it um, I'm not I'm not trying to throw shade to people who do ask their parents for stuff on Christmas I just feel like it's weird I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying? I don't know. I have the worst headache right now. I'm so sorry. Let me get into the video. I just had to get some things off my chest. Um, I had to talk about some things. Especially with Ken's miss and vlogging and stuff. I just needed to take a second and just internalize everything that's been going on. Um, internalize my whole year. Um, because I really, quite frankly, haven't. And I just needed, I just need to calm down. We all get in the hood. Just get started. So the one thing that me and my sister, um, Kylie, she came down for college. <coughs> oh, she came down for Christmas. And the one thing we needed was a phone upgrade. So we've had the eight. This is my old phone right here. We had the eight for two years and it's actually not broken. Um, Literally, I crack every phone I have. It's kind of like a talent. I crack them all. Um, this one's actually kind of cracked on the home button. But, um, yeah, we haven't had an upgrade in a couple years. So we were like, you know what? We just want a new phone. And it's been in the works, but my mom just got it during Christmas. So we got it during on Christmas morn. So I got the iPhone 11, um... 128 gigabyte uh, phone. I don't know, it's not the Pro because it's the one with only two cameras. I wasn't, I didn't want the three. I mean, I, I wasn't interested in having them pay extra hundreds of dollars for one little camera. Like, I'm not, I don't really need that. But it comes with, you know, the earphones and the charger. Put it in this, black color I don't think it's space gray my last one was actually space gray but it kind of looks the same it's just black I got a clear case for it um, on Amazon it's actually supposed to be coming in tomorrow y'all this face ID is actually really amazing I was like how is face ID gonna help but like for my bank and for unlocking my phone it's made me 10 times lazier that's for sure but it's actually super helpful. Um, I'm still trying to get used to, um, you have to like put it down. To see this, you have to like swipe down instead of swipe up, which I don't like. 
and uh, and like when you switch apps and clear apps you have to um it's really weird but uh, we're getting used to it it's a really nice phone uh yeah i got a clear case i was gonna check when i was coming here when are you coming oh should come tomorrow nice little clear case and i'm gonna get my pull right on the back and everything and it's actually bigger than my last phone which is all i wanted because i wanted the plus size again um, I think the Plus is actually normally a little bigger, and I think the Pro is actually a little bigger, but this is, like, the perfect size for me. And I'm, I'm just in love with this phone. The front camera is actually really weird, like, on Snapchat. Like, it looks, like, smoothed. But when you take it, it looks normal. It's... It's... The front camera got worse, I'm not gonna lie. The front cam... Like, if you're gonna upgrade... I like if you already have the like an 8 plus it's all fine I wouldn't upgrade I only upgraded because I wanted a bigger phone so the, the the front camera is not to want but the back camera it zooms in so nice and my snapchat would always lag and it just doesn't lag no more and I'm just super excited thanks parents I really appreciate it <laughs> This actually just came in the mail. I didn't get it for Christmas. I just bought it off of a Snapchat ad, but I'm gonna talk about it. So this is Simply Inked. They're always on my Snapchat ads, and I decided to buy some. And I spent like $30 on some fake tattoos. And I actually feel like I got less than what I paid for, but it's fine. Um, like I got a bundle and I only got, I got like a 20 plus tattoo bundle and then um, I also bought another kind of bundle and only got like this many. And I feel like I've been kind of gypped. But, um. And then I got this one, which is supposed to be like an underboob tattoo. And the lady in the picture, it like covered her whole underboob. And I opened this and I was like, what's this supposed to be? But, um. Yeah. I got this. And it took forever to order. Y'all don't get this. For real. I mean, maybe if they end up looking like tattoos. But I got this Wanderlust one. I wanted to get Wanderlust already somewhere in my body. Um, there's this rose. I don't know. I was trying to figure out, like, I don't know what I wanted to get for my next tattoo. But I don't think this is going to help me at all. So thanks, Simply. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I just got a couple of things here. Um, I actually got three gift cards, so I got an Amazon gift card, which I bought me and my sister's cases for, for new phones. Ava got a phone too, isn't that wild? She's been wanting a phone forever. Um, I got a Cinemark, like, uh, movies gift card, and I got an exchange gift card. Um, it's basically a store, and because I, I live on a military post, it's basically like a mini mall kind of a thing. Um, I, I might get some makeup with that. But I haven't bought anything yet. Oh, Bootsy, do you want me to step on you? Yeah, here's the Cinemark card. Kylie and Ava actually went to go see Frozen, and I was feeling sick. They went to see Frozen 2, and I didn't want to go see it because I was feeling like shit. And they saw it without me, but it's fine. And then here's the exchange gift card. Um, I should have waited till like maybe tomorrow to film this so I could go buy some stuff before I did the wire out for Christmas, but. I need to upload this like two days ago, so I'm gonna just do it. Um, I'm probably like at the little mini mall kind of thing. They have like a makeup section, so I think I'm gonna get new concealer because I haven't bought concealer in years. Um, maybe a foundation. Maybe do some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I also got a Walmart gift card. To Walmart yesterday, and I got some things from Walmart. I'm pretty sure I did this like last year and the year before that. Um, because whenever it's about the the start of the new year, I need some new soap. I need some new stuff. So normally my parent, mom just gets me gift cards and I'm fine with it. I have too many clothes. And you guys probably can tell by the clothing hauls I do. Like I don't need my parents to buy me clothes. They aren't going to buy me clothes with how many clothing packages I get in the mail. Some shoes I got. My mom actually, um, I saw these at Walmart. 
and we actually got them before Christmas but my mom just packaged and gave them up to me on Christmas I was like I want those my mom would be like well you can wait till Christmas and I was like oh okay these are basically like in-house little slippers these are the most comfortable things I've already worn them to Walmart I didn't want to wear them outside but I did um adorable <laughs> I'll probably wear them on the plane um, to Oklahoma oh my god y'all so I actually just bought my plane ticket today I don't know if y'all know, I might have told y'all this before, but I've never flown on an airplane before. Um, I just never have. I know I'm 17. Um, I'm just, I, I don't have that privilege. Me and my family, we've never been on a plane before. My parents obviously have for some other things, but we haven't went on one as a family or anything. And my best friend, Natalia, her 18th birthday is in January. And she was like, you should fly out. And I was like, bitch. Okay. Some of y'all might know Natalia. Um, I posted her all the time, like two years ago. We were always hanging out. Um, so, yeah. I would have to fly to Lawton. So, I'm going to fly to Lawton. And I'm going to have a layover in Dallas, which I'm terrified. Because the Dallas airport is huge but y'all know I'm gonna be vlogging which you know I'm kind of excited about because it'll be some good vlog content whenever I get lost in the Dallas airport it'll be fine you know it'll be fine. but yeah you know your feet swell up on airplane that's what I've heard so these shoes would be great they're so soft my mom was at Kohl's one time and she was like you want some shoes for Christmas and she sent me some booties because I told her I was like oh, I needed some booties um they're just the so brand style Han hano color cognac nine and a half and they're these booties so i have like two booties like this but they're like four inch heels i don't want to do that anymore um these fit literally perfectly they have memory foam they're so comfortable like oh my gosh like I always want to dress nice but I never know what shoes to wear and boom these are perfect okay these are perfect for when I want to dress nice you know a nice Sunday best a nice literally anything these would work for anything I'm literally tempted to get the exact same pair in black I'm like mom send that link because whew. And you guys know my parents always get me a little like skin a little bathroom essentials gift set so here's a new razor and some blades some shaving gel and eye makeup remover pads and I think this is a razor like holder we love this I should probably switch out my razor my razor is disgusting but it's fine Kylie got me a gift which I felt terrible because my gifts weren't in time by Christmas and I didn't know what to get Kylie I was going to get her AirPods, but I've been trying to save up for a MacBook. Um, I posted on my Snapchat. I'm trying to save up for a MacBook Pro, which is like $1,200. So I was like, we might have to hold on that gift. But she got these little boxes, and it has my name on it. Seasons greetings. And Ava got one as well. Um, she gave us little socks and this little St. Ives mask isn't this just oh my God. little sheet mask and she also gave these little slipper socks you know how many are in here there's like four pairs of socks look at the snowflakes I'm super excited for this oh I didn't even see this I don't even remember Christmas y'all I was so tired like I couldn't sleep multiple nights like I had to wake up at like 4 a.m. because I couldn't breathe and my sinuses I didn't go to the doctor I probably had a sinus infection I probably still do but chapsticks the holiday collection oh my god sugar cookie candy cane pumpkin pie candy cane is my ish and then she got me this cinnamon spiced vanilla white barn scented candle um, I didn't have my scent. I can still barely smell. I could barely taste for a good while there. I still can barely smell. 
I can kind of smell it. I can't. Y'all, I can't smell, but I bet this smells good. I can't smell it right now, but. And uh, Kylie also got me Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Once again, can't smell it. Got me some Butterfinger Bites because this is my favorite candy. I just want to let y'all know I love Butterfingers. Um, she also got me a new pair of pearls. I needed some new pearls. Uh, Swarovski Crystal. And then she also got me a little lotion, which my hands are actually so ashy right now. So I'm going to put some on right now. And my mom got me this little candle holder, Yankee candle holder. And these two mini wax candles. This is apple pumpkin and Christmas cookie. I guess they're supposed to chill in here. I don't really understand. I think they just sit in there. Little candles. Kylie also got me a little Santa mug. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. And it has three little lollipops and it has two little chocolate, um, hot chocolate mixes. So this is so cute. Stocking, you know, my sealer stocking or, you know, gotta rep the best team out there. Top there was some ice cube, little peppermint gum. Uh, I have a poop hand sanitizer. I don't know, we just be throwing shit in here. My mom got me a new toothbrush, you know, spin brush. Pro white, rotating whitening cup. So yeah, we probably needed that. <laughs> and then I also got this Crest Pro Health toothpaste. My mom just be getting us what we need on Christmas morn. I got a little Skittles candy cane. And, um, I feel like Ava snatched my stuff. Well, there was also beef jerky in there. Who knows? Uh, Ava probably ate it. There was also a Kit Kat. Who knows where that is? Uh, that's everything I opened on Christmas morn. Um, yeah, I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. I, I don't need that much. I don't need any stuff, y'all. My room is a mess, um, but I'm so blessed for everything I got for Christmas. Now I'm just gonna go through real quick what I got at Walmart because why not? Like, it's I probably shouldn't be going through it, but so I got this little Body Benefits loofah. It says it's a men's sport deep cream. You know, we need a men's loofah sometimes. So I got a little loofah. Um, my other loofah is so bad; it's gross, kind of really disgusting. So I need a new one. Um. I needed some new bars of soap, so here's Dial Coconut Water. Yeah, my little hygiene haul. So I love getting body washes. I love getting bar soap. Probably the most, my most favorite thing to shop for. I freaking love buying hygiene stuff. And then, oh, this was in my stocking as well. Um, I didn't buy it. Limited edition Coconut Miracle Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. I have so much shampoo and conditioner now. Because I got two of these, um, I think my mom bought them for me like a couple months ago because we need a shampoo and conditioner. And then I got that Function of Beauty stuff that has been working so amazing on my hair. And then Kylie um, gave us this um, Tem, I don't know, she works at Sally's Beauty so she was like this shampoo and conditioner is really awesome. So we have that one in the shower and now I have these. Like I'm gonna, I'm happy because I'm always running out of shampoo and conditioner. But there's a lot. Here I got this Dove. Ooh, excuse me. It looks like the cap's about to come off. This is Dove um, New Deep Moisture uh, Nourishing Body Wash. Um, I watched this girl on YouTube and she literally lives by this one. Like, this is her favorite one. She actually gets the teal one. Um, and I forgot when I was there. I should have got the one she got. She uses the teal one. Um, she says it smells so good. Oh, I can't smell. But she lives by this stuff. So I wanted to try it. I always live by coconut um, butter scrubs. Love soft soap. So we need to get this. This stuff smells so good. And I can't smell. I don't know why I think I'm going to be able to smell. I needed a new Dove deodorant. So, 
that was my little Walmart hygiene haul. Just a little glimpse into my life. Yeah. This is my new favorite snack right here. These are the Cheetos cheddar jalapeno. Mmm. So that was everything I got for Christmas. I hope you guys just, you know, whatever you got, be thankful, you know. Especially if you have people there for you that are even willing to do that. Because some people don't, you know what I'm saying? So <coughs> every time I cough, my head explodes. For this video, the end of my 12 days of Kensmas. It's been a wild ride. If you guys want to see the rest of my videos, I'm going to have the playlist down below. This has been amazing. Um, now we're back to scheduled programming. Hopefully in 2020, hopefully in the next couple of videos, I can get at least a video up a week. Who knows? Because sometimes I'd be bad at that. Sometimes I'm not good at uploading, but I think 12 days of Kansas was definitely a step up. I'm done. I'm out. I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram. That would make my day. Okay, bye. Rusty house.